All right, so another diagnostics modality you might want to use to diagnose for uh, pericardial effusion is is a CT scan. All right, so on uh, this we just brought in some few write up and some images of previously done CT scans for what pericardial effusion. So that I can just show you guys that okay, if your patient has pericardial effusion, this would be this, this would be this. Uh, okay, this is pericardial effusion, sorry, not pleural effusion. So, uh, CT scan findings for what pericardial effusion. Everybody knows what pericardial effusion is, right? Pericardial effusion is, uh, you see, this is the pericardium. And in the healthy heart, you don't have water or fluid, sorry, fluid collecting in the pericardial cavity. All right. So for the pericardial effusion, the patient has this problem that fluid is kind of like collecting in the pericardial cavity. And this is developing a problem for them. So you might just want to uh, use a CT scan to diagnose, to confirm if this condition is there. All right. So fluid accumulation. Uh, sorry. OK. Uh, a CT scan or computed tomography scan of pericardial effusion may show the following. There will be fluid accumulation. Okay, that's excess fluid in the pericardial space surrounding the heart. Okay, so to show excess fluid in the this is a typical one. Okay, so to show like excess fluid in the pericardium surrounding the heart. This one is so much. Okay, wait. Yeah, I see. It. All right, this is a very big enlarged heart. Okay. I could see fluid surrounding it. Then um, the pericardial sac will be enlarged. The pericardial sac is enlarged due to fluid buildup, cardiac compression. The fluid can compress the heart, of course. Okay, and this will potentially lead to what is known as cardiac tamponade, which is a life-threatening condition. Density differences. The CT scan can also show differences in density between the fluid and the surrounding tissue. All right. Then um, CT characteristics of pericardial effusion location. Uh, fluid accumulation in the pericardial space surrounding the heart. Attenuation. The fluid typically has a low attenuation. That's a low density, similar to water. Size and shape. The pericardial sac is what enlarged, and the fluid can accumulate in various locations around the heart. Compression. The fluid can compress the heart, especially the right atrium and the ventricle okay so that's kind of like repeating what we said um ct scan findings may also indicate cardiac tamponade that's compression of the heart due to what uh the fluid accumulation all right then pericarditis that's inflammation of the pericardial sac you can also show you there's a cardiac malignancy that's tumors or cancers affecting the heart or pericardium you can also show trauma if there's an injury to the heart or pericardium, CT scan findings can also what still show this. Okay, so that's it about things that you are trying to look out for when you do a CT scan for what pericardial effusion. All right, so those are the CT scan findings for pericardial effusion.